Yo, what's going to my ghost here? And today I'm bringing you guys the ISO and MP5 comparison. Now, in one of my last, like, I don't know, the foul MP5 video, I said that I was going to stop making MP5 comparisons. But, you know, see, you see what happened was a new SMG came out, a gun that potentially challenges the spot of the MP5. And you already know I had to make this video. Also, I want to give you guys a big thank you for 900 subscribers. Uh, in the process of me making this, I'm actually at 899. But by the time this video goes up, I'm most likely going to be at 900. So again, thank you guys for 900. Uh, next time I'm thanking you, it's going to be the big 1,000. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications. And um, this, is, this is something I don't normally do. But if we can shoot for 35 likes, that'd be very appreciated. Um, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you don't have to. But it'd be very appreciated. It helps the channel out. Also, uh, some of these clips, including the gameplay that you're seeing, was uh, captured on my Twitch. So if you could please go lob a follow over there. Uh, I like the vibe late night. Just It's a vibe. You know, again, late night. If you just want to chill with me, please hit that follow button. We're at 27 followers over there. So if we can get to like 30, 35, that would be very, uh, you know, again, appreciated. But again, you don't have to do all that. You know, but, you know, link in the description. So anyways, let's get into the comparison. And here we have the base ISOs recoil pattern. Now, throughout this week... I decided to focus all my attention on this new gun. Uh, I did not use the MP5 at all during the making of this video. Uh, I know that sounds kind of like cat, but I'm dead ass. I did not use the MP5 at all because, I mean, look, I've been using MP5 pretty much all or since Warzone's been out, and I've made a ton of MP5 videos, so I do not really need to use a weapon that's, you know, been the same pretty much the whole time. Um, but anyways, like I said, I decided to focus my attention on this gun to understand what it was good and what it wasn't good at. And I'm pretty sure I got a pretty good understanding of this. I'm actually really glad I didn't rush this video and took my time with understanding the weapon. I had a lot of time to experiment, and that's exactly what I did. So, during the process of me leveling up this weapon, uh, I wasn't multiplayer, but, like, you know, once I got the 30-round clip, I was already using it in Warzone. And um, I have to say that it felt okay. Um, it definitely doesn't excel at close range. So, like, and the aspect of being a close range SMG, I don't think um, it excels well. I think a lot of SMGs beat it, uh, including MP5, uh, which is, you know, kind of a shame because I was really hoping that this gun could compete with MP5's title. Like, I'm not saying the gun is bad and you can't use it at close range, but uh, I used it in a whole variety. I've used it in pretty much every game mode, and it definitely excels in solos and duos and even trios. Quads is a little iffy because, again, it does not have that, that strong close range um, capacity. Uh, but in solos, you know, anything could really, you know, it, it's actually pretty good in close range because, again, it's just one-on-one -on -one gunfights. In duos, it's only two people, so, again, you know, it's a little bit more manageable close. And even trios, again, same same thing. But squads, when it gets to, like, four people, it's a little, it's a little bit harder to use close range. Um, it definitely is possible, like I keep saying, but, you know, eh. I see this gun as more of a medium to range SMG, so, like, uh, kind of like a... MP7 and uh, AUG if you build it as an AR. That's how I really see this weapon. I don't really see this weapon as a MP5, a P90, a Uzi. Like, I don't see it in that uh, type of frame, I guess. Um, I, as you guys saw right there, I just beamed the, the heck out of someone coming in. Uh, I think, honestly, the way I'm going to use this ISO is with, like, an overkill sniper. So, you know how you use the MP7 with the sniper? Uh, that's how I probably see myself using this gun. Um, now, there's actually another way you could build this gun. And that is the, um, the MP5 way. And what I mean by that is, so this gun actually has an attachment on the stock side that is similar, actually, exactly like the EPTAC collapsible on the MP5. But the only problem is, is yes, it allows you to get that um, close range engagement. But again, it doesn't really do anything to the damage. And damage is kind of what makes it not a very good close range weapon because the MP5... Actually, not, not even the damage. Scratch that. It's more of the rate of fire. The MP5 is a faster rate of fire, especially if you use the monolithic integral. And, you know, so most, more than likely than not, a head-to-head a head -head battle, which I've actually done a lot with, against MP5s in Warzone because, you know, I don't use it. I've actually lost a lot of them. A pretty good amount of them. Not going to lie. But... Again, if you add on the EPTEC collapsible, you know, that sounds good and all more, you know, better for close range. But I don't know why, but the ISO has this weird thing with its iron sight when you put on the EPTEC or the, whatever, the collapsible. And, look, I'm, I'm just going to show you a clip. I'm just going to show you a clip. Like, this is with the EPTEC collapsible for the ISO. And I don't know about if it's just me, but the iron sight. Look at the way the iron sight moves. Look at the way it's shaking. That right there, bro, you might not think that's a big problem, but when I used it in-game... 
this was a big problem. It was very distracting. I felt like I could barely see the enemy in front of my uh, line of sight. And honestly, I would not recommend running it like that because it, I feel like you could lose a lot of gunfights simply because it feels like you just cannot see with the way it just bounces up and down and just it, it feels like it does. It's not s stable at all. With the MP5, it's not like that. Mostly because I think the, the iron sight is a circle as opposed to this one. It's kind of like a little bit more wide. I'm also actually that's another thing I want to talk about the iron sight. The iron sight to me honestly isn't that bad. But I, I've heard a few complaints about the iron sight. Uh, do not run a sight on your uh, SMG. Like, it's really not that bad. It's not as bad as the A994. Uh, again, like, it's just not a bad iron sight, in my opinion. I think it's very suitable. But if you don't want to use, if you want to use a sight, uh, I guess, go ahead and knock yourself out. I feel like you just be wasting an attachment. But, you know, everyone has their own personal preference. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I want. We got to talk about the ISO and scan to the MP5. And here we have the base MP5 recoil pattern. Now, again, this is going to be the same things that I've said already in my past MP5 comparison videos. Um, if you kept up with me, this is again, I'm just going to pretty much restate what I've already said in the past. But for your new viewers, I'm just going to state, you know, how I feel about the MP5 and what it does and what it can't do. But uh, like I said, I don't think the ISO could necessarily overtake the MP5 as the best SMG in the game. Uh, simply because of the close range uh, factor. Uh, medium and far range, though, I think that's 100%. Going to the ISO side and movement wise, I actually like the ISO's movement a lot too. It felt almost as smooth as the MP5. I still think MP5 has the smoothest movement and animations and all that in the game, uh, but the ISO definitely wasn't that bad, especially with the FTAC uh, attachment. But again, don't use that one because you're really gonna cruise your game if you do that. But, um, actually, I want to give two reasons why I don't think. I, uh, you know, the ISO will come into meta, and number one is obviously the close range factor. Uh, again, I don't think that's even the biggest reason why. You could get around it in certain game modes, but overall, I just feel like it's a little weak in that department. But the second reason, and the like, the main reason I don't think it's going to become meta is because of the streamers and YouTubers. Uh, if you guys have been keeping up with other, you know, streamers, which I'm pretty sure you guys do, or even YouTubers, uh, there's not a lot of things, or not a lot of good things being said about the ISO, and it makes me kind of sad because. If, you know, some people are very easily influenced by those type of people. Um, so if, you know, they say, oh, the, the ISO is really bad, no one's going to touch it, bro. Because if Nick Merch or Swag says it's bad, no one's going to use it. But they're really not universal, bro. I'm sorry. These people use, like, the same, like, they use the same weapon every day, all day. They occasionally pull out the other weapon for their YouTube videos. And they really don't know what they're talking about. They don't see here and experiment the weapon week long like I do. Like, I'm not even trying to be like that. But dead ass, like, there's a lot of other creators out there that experiment these weapons more than these uh, big streamers. And they have a lot more, I guess, non-biased opinions than all these other creators because they also use mp5s like straight up they you see going to stream they're pretty much using brewing mp5 or fouls like come on bro these people don't sit here and use these weapons like all day every day they don't and you know it's kind of sad because a lot of people are going to sway towards their opinion and they're not going to use this weapon they're going to stay away from it because those big youtubers and streamers are not saying good things about it but i'm here to tell you right if you come across this video and you think you, you don't want to use this weapon it's not a bad weapon to use man like complete like don't be afraid to use this weapon like, I know I'm saying it's not that good close range or it's not, like, up to par as the, the SMG. But if you can, if you have gun skills, you're going to be killing people. It does not matter. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, sometimes you might lose that engagement, but you got to know how to pick your fights. You, If you know, like, you might lose certain situations, then, again, your aim has to be all there, too. So, like, if you lose a gunfight, that might not always be the gun. It, it could be your aim sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It happens to me all the time, too. But, like, also, like, like I said, it, it has a different, like, Usage like it's not just supposed to be meant as a close range weapon. Yes, it's an SMG, but if you look something like the the MP7, MP7 isn't used as a close range weapon. I'm sorry, like, to me again, it's not a secondary weapon, but but it's used like in combination with the sniper. So if you like to snipe a lot, throw in the ISO, man. I'm telling you, it's not that bad. I honestly, personally, though, I'm not gonna lie, I have not used it as a as that like way. I have not used it with the sniper quite yet. I'm going to eventually do it because I have something else in mind to do with this ISO, but. You know, I'm not entirely sure if it's 100% reliable. I feel like for the experiences that I've had, that it is reliable at long, long range, especially medium range. I feel like that's where it excels at um, tremendously. And um, if you really want to use something different other than MP7 or if M4 or uh, or even, I don't know, like a Kilo, when you use a sniper, throw in the ISO, man. I'm telling you, if I sell your bag, I apologize. I just feel like it's not that bad of a weapon at those ranges. Um, again, just don't be afraid to use it. Like I know the MP5 has a lot of good things about it, and this not like it's a very reliable weapon. Like I said, I love the move, like the mobility of it. I like a lot of things about it, but like 
I'm not gonna just because I like a weapon. I'm not just gonna stick to it. Like, I, like especially now as a YouTuber, like I have to try these weapons. Out. I'm not just gonna sit here and use it one or two times and be like, oh yeah, this is what I got from it. Nah, bro, I used this weapon since it came out. I leveled it up in Warzone. I leveled it up. I used it before I got all the attachments in Warzone. I used it when I got it. I tried out all the attachments. Like I sat here and tried different things to make sure I could get the best possible build. And hell, I don't even probably have the best possible build from it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, don't let these other people, all these big influencers, to, like, let you not stray you away from this weapon just because they say it's bad. Just be, And they, I'm telling you, they don't use this weapon that much, bro. They might use it, they might use it one, like, one long session. Like, in one stream, they might use it one time. But that's just not enough, bro. You got to experiment with it, bro. You have to really understand the weapon. Just using it for a day isn't really going to help you understand it because that's not a lot of time. Like, I'm not trying to throw shots, but I'm just saying, bro. I just don't like these creators when they say oh, this weapon's bad. Because, I mean, think about it, bro. They called the Kilo trash back in, like, the beginning of Warzone when the growl and all that was out. But now look at it, bro. It's considered a top three gun in the game, bro. And here we are. You know what I'm saying? So don't let these creators tell you that a weapon is bad unless, you know. Because, hell, in one month, this could be the meta. You know what I'm saying? But, um, anyways, let me know your thoughts about this new ISO weapon. See if you guys like it or not. And, um, yeah. Talk to you guys later. Peace.